Let me show you how to add dividers inside of your drop down menu that looks like this. As you can see, it's a legit one. You can't really click on it. So for this example, I have a drop down menu and this one is the same, except we don't have the divider. So I want to add a divider between item two and item A. So right in here. So let me show you how to set this up. We're going to go into edit. And as you can see, we have four items and we don't really have a button to add a divider. So what you need to do is create a new item. So now we have five and this item is going to be our divider. So we're going to position it right between item two and item A. So it's going to be our divider right here. And we're going to change the text from item three to open parentheses and then minus. That's all you need to do. And then next press OK. Now, when you go to the drop down menu, notice it's right here. However, there is something you have to keep in mind, even though we have four items in here, After Effects sees five. So After Effects sees one, two, and then three, four, five. And I can prove it to you. So if you link up to the menu here, as you can see, the first item shows us one and then we can go to two. And naturally you would think this would be three if I go to the third one, but it shows us four because it sees this as the third one. So you should definitely keep that in mind when you link to the drop down menu that has dividers and that's how you do it.